Kristen Stewart's portrayal of Princess Diana has been critically acclaimed, but Prince Harry is reportedly not such a big fan of the dark character. Her Spencer film struck a sour note with Harry. He's pretty appalled by the film a source told. The thought of running into the actor, who is nominated for the Best Actress Oscar is putting him off attending awards season. Harry and Meghan have been invited to all the big events and planned on attending the Oscars too, but they'd almost certainly come face to face with Stewart since she's a lock for a Best Actress nomination, the source continued. Meghan figures they can just ignore Kristen or be briefly polite, but Harry's not one to be fake, and his nerves are still raw. He's actually thinking about skipping the Oscars, but Meghan really wants back into the Hollywood scene. The film centers on one particular weekend in Princess Diana's life in 1991 when she and husband Prince Charles were supposed to enjoy the Christmas festivities at the famous Sandringham estate. But after being plagued by rumors that their marriage was at breaking point, the three days were said to have been tumultuous and the synopsis says the movie is an imagining of what might have happened during those few fateful days. Kristen said of the role, It's one of the saddest stories to exist ever, and I don't want to just play Diana, I want to know her implicitly. I haven't been this excited about playing a part, by the way, in so long, she told. Princess Diana's friends have said they think she would be horrified to see the way she is being portrayed now. Magazine editor Ingrid Seward has criticized the portrayal of her close friend Diana, as she explained, it hadn't been a good year for Charles and Diana at all, their marriage was breaking up pretty rapidly. Ingrid took further offense at the film Spencer depicting scenes of Diana battling bulimia and self-harm saying that she wasn't cutting herself during that particular weekend. That Christmas, she was there with Fergie. She wasn't speaking to Charles, but she wasn't cutting herself at that stage. They've piled every bad thing into one weekend which is taking poetic license a little far, she added. In the other hand, hosts of the royally obsessed podcast, Rachel Bowie and Roberta Fiorito, reflected on Kate, Duchess of Cambridge's 40th birthday and looked at how far she has come during her time in the royal family. The two presenters spoke with fashion expert and director Bethan Holt who pointed out how Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's exit from the royal family taught the institution a good lesson for survival. Ms. Holt said the royals were learning how to not upstage each other during special events and said Kate's recent hosting of a carol service in Westminster Abbey demonstrated that. Speaking on the podcast, Ms. Holt believed the departure of the Sussexes taught the royals an important lesson about working together. The journalist believed this was seen during the ITV's Together at Christmas show where royals cooperated as one team. She explained, even though they are a family, perhaps they're always going to be a little bit, you know, put out if someone's on the front page and they're not. When it's something they've been really bigging up. But I think perhaps the Harry and Meghan episode has taught them a little bit that they need to operate as one team and one family. And it was so nice at the carol service to see them all turning out together kind of thing and the power of them as a whole unit and really using that I think is really interesting. So I hope that we're coming through that sort of competition phase and competitive stage to something where everyone realizes that everyone has different talents, different powers. And that's appreciated rather than kind of taken as a slight. The Royal Carols, together at Christmas show was hosted and organized by Kate in honor of frontline workers and people supporting their communities during the COVID-19 pandemic. The concert was filmed on December 8 but was aired on ITV on Christmas Eve. TV presenter Kate Garraway and singers Tom Walker, Ellie Goulding, and Leona Lewis also made an appearance at the concert. Kate blew away audiences with a surprise piano performance alongside singer Tom Walker which was pre-recorded and kept under strict secrecy.